Introducing the all new Corolla. He is a carpetbagger, in my opinion. GRRP spokesman David Sablon came out swinging today in response to the special report filed Monday by the federal receiver GBB. He accused GBB's principal associate David Manning of telling half-truths in an effort to derail the revised contract GRRP has recently negotiated with Gita. No doubt in your mind that this is a good deal for Guam and the people of Guam. It is a good deal for the people of Guam, better than what we are experiencing now with the receiver. Uh, this receiver should just close the order dump and stick with that project rather than extending all of his uh, uh, responsibilities to other parts of the solid waste management here in Guam. Right now he's in charge of collecting, he's doing recycling, uh, and then he's attacking our contract when he doesn't really even understand what is in there, in my opinion, because some of the things that he's reported to the court is wrong. The federal receiver warned in its Monday special report to the court that the implementation of this revised contract to build a waste-to-energy plant would force the cost of collecting and disposing of solid waste on Guam up even higher. However, Sablon counters that the project will be funded not by Gov Guam, but by a private bond. Manning says it's a bad deal, going to cost Gov Guam more money. No, it's not. It's going to be actually cheaper than what he's charging for the services that he performs down at Lazon. It won't encumber, encumber Gov Guam with it any won't, more indebtedness? It, it won't encumber Gov Guam at all. There is no credit worthiness of the government of Guam that has to be pledged. There, is no, there are no assets that have to be pledged that belong to the government of Guam. There Who's is going no to pay it back? GRRP, through the, through the sale of its service, uh, basically through the tipping fees. However, it's unclear how this contract will advance any further. It hasn't been signed yet, and no bill has been introduced in the legislature to approve it. Who's going to introduce the bill at the legislature? I don't know. It's up to them. <laughs> but, but nobody nobody has announced that they would. And, and Senator Adda told us yesterday he's not aware of anybody doing it. And it's the contract is not signed. Well, that's, that's a question you need to ask the legislature. It's down there. It's in, it's in their arena. It's up to them now to review it. In addition, Governor Calvo has said he won't sign the contract until he has assurances that it is environmentally safe, fiscally sound, and legal. I'm not going to try to second guess what the governor wants to do with this, but he has to sign it. Otherwise, he would be in breach of the license agreement. Okay. Now, he, has, he wants to sign it when it meets whatever requirements he has. We have incorporated a couple of things that he wanted in there already. So if we just get past the hurdle of convincing him that it is legal, then so be it. You know, he just needs to sign off on it. And Sablon thinks the federal receiver should be limited to just closing the ORDOT dump and then go home. Yet he has no concern with the cost on how much it will burden the people of Guam. And so what I would hope is that the people would say, just do your job and close the ORDOT dump. That's all that you need to do now. And then please go home. Thank you very much. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.